My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path, Path of the Network of the Marketer. Network Marketer. Network Marketer. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. In today's episode, we are going to talk about how social media is not advertising. It's not advertising, and why we might have that unconscious belief system. Now, before we get into all that, I, I do want to ask a few things. Uh, if you're not already part of our Facebook group page, go ahead and join our Facebook group. It's facebook.com slash group slash path of the network marketer. Um, another, another resource for you where we can continue our discussion outside of the show, outside of the podcast. I'll leave the link in the show notes of this episode. The next thing I'd like to ask is if you're not already following the show, go ahead and hit that plus button so you can follow the show. Um, we're, we're on our way to 100. We're very close to hitting that 100 milestone, 100 episode milestone and I'm going to be sharing a lot of stuff with you so you're not going to want to miss a single thing make sure you're following the show and then last uh, but not least share the show share the show if you find value in today's content and in the content of any of the other episodes please share it chances are somebody else will find value in it as well so and well you'll also be doing me a huge solid right like we're not actively at, at, at this point in the game. We're, we're not a- actively marketing or advertising the show. Um, so it would be helping us out. But again, primarily, if you find value, if this show is helping you out on your journey, well, chances are it'll help somebody else, right? Like, like let's help more people score more wins. Um, share the show, take a screen capture, uh, post that in your stories, and you can tag me if you want. It's uh, Cannibal Ron on Instagram and Ronnie Cruz 11 on Facebook. Okay. Social media is not advertising, and why we might think that, why we might have, why we might have that unconscious belief system. Uh, I think, especially if you're my age, if you're from from the generation where TV and radio are still a thing, um, we have a, definitely a notion of advertising and marketing um, that was, in, well, yeah, that was that was because of the result of. Um, the advertising and marketing that we see on uh, TV and and radio, and of course print and and other other kind of mediums, but primarily TV and radio. It, the the idea is the notion of marketing is getting your products and services in front of as many eyes as possible, because that's what that's what TV and radio was, right? Eyes and ears. Um, and so it, with the advent of the, of the social media, um, we take that unconscious belief of what marketing is and, and we employ that because that's what we think marketing is. Um, social media, unfortunately, is not that. It's not that. It's a whole different ball of wax. Yes, we can think that you know, we're getting um, our products and services in front of as many eyes as possible by just posting and blasting our products and services on our feeds, but it's largely going to be ineffective, y'all. Yes, it can get, help you get exposure, but your conversion rates are going to be pretty low. Uh, social media conversion rates are low in the first place, right? Um, there's, there's number one, the attention span of social media consumers is so short. And number two, there's so much content that gets uh, published every day that you're, you know, I mean, it's, uh, you're, you're, you're a blip on the radar and you're fighting uh, tooth and nail to, to get attention. And it's largely, it's largely not going to work, right? So conversion rates are low. And then you add to that how you're, how you're promoting and marketing your, your products and services by just blasting it out there. Again, largely, largely ineffective. If they have no reason to stop um, their scroll, with uh, if, if your post and the content that you're publishing doesn't give people a reason to stop their scroll, then, then you're not going to get any traction and you're just wasting your time posting this stuff in the first place. Remember, it's not all about just getting your products and services in front of as many eyes as possible. That's not the game anymore. Uh, well, okay, so let me take that back. That might be the game for large companies that have budgets, that, ha- that have marketing ad dollars they can spend to do that. But for the independent distributor in network marketing, we can't do that, right? We, we don't have the, the recognition. We don't have the, the, you know, the, the clout to do it. We don't, especially don't have the budget. And so you have to build that, right? You, you have to build that, that asset with your social media. You have to build, um, well, it's, it's got to be a more curated, uh, more intentional and purposeful uh, co- content publishing, right? You've got to develop an identity. You've got to develop a presence and that's the only way that people will start liking you people will start trusting you because social media is all about building that influence and so once you build that influence if you build it well and you build it strong and 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 you develop that relationship with your audience and your following then the stuff that, that you post about your products and services will be much more effective it'll be much more effective than just blasting um, you know, a piece of, of, of content that, that shows your products and services, the, the, the features and benefits of those things um, every day. It's, it's really not going to be not going to be a very, very effective. Um, I want you to be as efficient with your time as possible. And so 
doing this it may be it may take a lot of work and effort and very small results at, at, at up front but it's going to be worth the time to, that it takes to doing this um, to do it in the long term in the long term build your presence online build your identity um, uh, build your audience and then build build your influence over that audience right so that's it social media is not advertising so we got to stop treating it that way stop spamming spamming your feed with your products and services and and develop develop that identity that people really want to want to connect with and listen to and stop their scroll for so more from me tomorrow uh, lots to come again we are on a journey to 100 so make sure you tune in until then be well be safe we'll see you in the next episode <laughs>